Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Ex-Cowboys running back cut, could sign with playoff team. Getty ex-Cowboys RB Corey Clement is now a free agent following his release from the Cardinals. A former Dallas Cowboys running back is now officially a free agent. Corey Clement, who spent the 2021 season with the Cowboys, was released from the Arizona Cardinals practice squad following their Week 18 game on Monday, January 8, as reported by NFL Network's Tom Pelissero. The move means that the veteran back is free to sign with a playoff team. The Cardinals are releasing veteran RB Corey Clement from the practice squad today, per source, giving him a chance to join a playoff team that needs depth. Pelissero posted January 8 on X Corey Clement best known for Eagles tenure Clement had appeared in three games with the Cardinals this season, playing all of his snaps on special teams. During the 2022 season with Arizona, Clement saw some action on offense, starting their Week 18 season finale against the San Francisco 49ers due to an injury to James Conner. Clement posted eight carries for 23 yards and a touchdown along with three catches for 25 yards. The 29-year-old back appeared in all 17 games with the Cowboys in 2021 after he was signed and released by the New York Giants prior to the start of the season. He played mostly a special teams role, appearing in 61% of the special teams' snaps while playing just 6% of the offensive snaps. During his lone season in Dallas, Clement posted four tackles along with 33 carries for 140 yards and six receptions for 29 receiving yards and one touchdown. While Clement has bounced around from team to team in recent years, the former undrafted free agent is best known for his four-year tenure with the Philadelphia Eagles. Clement played a major role in the team's Super Bowl 52 victory over the New England Patriots, leading the team in receiving with four catches for 100 receiving yards and a touchdown. However, his most notable moment was during the Eagles' famous, Philly Special, play which saw Clement hand off to Trey Burton before he threw a touchdown pass to Nick Foles on fourth and goal to give the Eagles a 22-12 lead heading into halftime. During an interview with Rich Eisen shortly after the game, Clement commented on the popular play. I was hoping Kelsey didn't high snap it and it turns into some crazy stuff, said Clement back in February of 2018. Initially, I looked up to make sure it wasn't a high snap and I got down after that, Clement told Eisen. I flipped it to Trey Burton and I don't think I watched the rest of the play. I was just so confident in waiting for the crowd noise. I turned around and Nick had the ball, so it was pretty cool. Would the Cowboys seek reunion with Corey Clement? As far as a potential reunion with the Cowboys goes, that's probably unlikely. Clement has played mostly a special teams role, as he did in Dallas, in recent years and the Cowboys are unlikely to use a roster spot on a utility role player. After missing Week 17's game against the Detroit Lions due to an ankle injury, Rico Dowdle returned to play in the season finale against the Washington Commanders. Dallas did show some interest in Dalvin Cook before he signed with the Baltimore Ravens. However, Cook is a four-time Pro Bowl back and could have complemented Tony Pollard as the primary backup. Barring an injury to Pollard or one of their backup running backs, Dallas will likely stand pat with their current guys on the roster. Dan Quinn a prime Seahawks candidate to replace Pete Carroll. The Seattle Seahawks shocked the football world on Wednesday when they announced that head coach Pete Carroll was transitioning to an advisor role within the franchise. That means the Seahawks are looking for a new head coach for the first time since 2010. As soon as the news dropped names were beginning to fly around in the media. One coach firmly in the mix, per Adam Schefter and Ian Rapoport, is former Seahawks defensive coordinator and current Dallas Cowboys DC Dan Quinn. He is being strongly considered for the role and has head coaching experience from his time with the Atlanta Falcons. A lot of Seahawks fans and football followers alike were shocked by Carroll's dismissal, especially after the 72-year-old expressed his desire to keep coaching. Seattle decided to go in a different direction after 15 seasons, though the franchise will still have Carroll weigh in on certain decisions. Quinn seems like a good fit for Seattle when you look at his resume. 
He spent four seasons as an assistant with the Seahawks, including in 2013 and 2014 when Seattle reached consecutive Super Bowls and was victorious in one of them. The Seahawks had the top-ranked defense in terms of yards allowed and points allowed in both of those seasons. Quinn also brings a history of head coaching to the table if the Seahawks are looking for a veteran NFL coach. He enjoyed a mostly successful tenure with the Falcons from 2015 to 2020, finishing with a 43-42 record. The Falcons reached the playoffs in consecutive seasons under Quinn in 2016 and 2017, winning the division in the first year. Quinn's tenure is perhaps best known for the epic 28-3 collapse that was orchestrated against the Falcons in Super Bowl 51. Taking another head coaching gig would allow Quinn to get rid of that label and create a new top memory for his coaching career. Several teams have been interested in him over the last couple of seasons as he's turned the Cowboys' defense into one of the best in the league. Dallas ranks fifth in total defense and scoring defense while Seattle had one of the worst-ranked defensive units in football this season. Hiring Dan Quinn could fix that, though the Cowboys may not hand him over willingly. Seattle might have to cough up a few extra dollars and if they truly think Quinn is the answer, they shouldn't have a problem doing that. Cowboys Mike McCarthy makes stark confession on Packers matchup. When last the Dallas Cowboys saw the Packers, more than a year before their upcoming showdown in the NFL playoffs, Mike McCarthy committed what he now sees as a cardinal sin for coaches. He made the game about himself. McCarthy took the Cowboys to Green Bay in Week 10 of the 2022 season and did not want to ignore the elephant in the room, his lengthy history with the Packers. McCarthy had coached in Green Bay for 12 seasons, leading the team to a Super Bowl championship in 2010, but was fired midway through his 13th year in 2018. The game had extra meaning for him, and he felt he ought to explain that to his Cowboys. After blowing a 28-14 lead to lose, 31-28, McCarthy confessed he wished he had not done so. Last year, I thought it was important for me to talk about Green Bay at the beginning of the week. I did with the team. I regretted it, McCarthy said in his press conference on Monday. I don't think that, that doesn't even need to come into our energy base. So, you live and learn. Mike McCarthy focused on playoffs. Now, with the Packers set to travel to Dallas to face the Cowboys in the opening week of the NFL playoffs, McCarthy said he is shutting down all talk of his history with the Green Bay organization. He wants to keep the focus on Sunday's game and no more. This game's about our commitment. It doesn't matter who we're playing, and it really doesn't, McCarthy said, indicating he was not rooting for or against the Packers. I had no stake, I didn't watch one game prior to yesterday's contest in preparation. I started last night on the plane. That's where I am. McCarthy has been a head coach in the NFL for nearly two decades, which means he is not foolish enough to think that his facing his old team won't be a storyline this year. But he just knows he does not have to participate. There's no time for that, he said. I answered the questions honestly in here last year about my experience up there. It just will not help us win. So if it doesn't help us win a game, I'm not interested in it. Packers have changed since Cowboys saw them in 2022. The reality, too, is that the Packers team the Cowboys will face in the NFL playoffs is a much different version of the team, just as Mike McCarthy is a different version of himself. Green Bay is the youngest team in the NFL, and has overhauled its lineup in the wake of the trade of Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. Nine of the 22 starters for Green Bay in last year's game against the Cowboys are gone, 10 if you count injured tackle David Bakhtiari. They've got some new faces, particularly they played a lot of guys in their secondary throughout the year. Obviously, they've gotten healthy of late. But last night and this morning was just getting tied into their personnel, McCarthy said. The big change has been at quarterback, where Jordan Love replaces Rodgers. Had seen Jordan Love a few times in the breakdowns, McCarthy said. Obviously, he has great command of the offense, you can see he is comfortable. He has made some excellent time clock plus throws, so I have noticed that. But, I mean, it is early. We are early in the preparation right now. 